This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this 2013 Ford Edge. It is a 3.5 liter V6. Front wheel drive, it's an SEL trim package with leather and a panoramic roof. Has 104,492 miles. Um, it was a new car dealer trade-in to Earnhardt Kia in Phoenix. Um, this vehicle has one of the top five all-time uh, Carfaxes I've ever seen. Um, in a good way. It's a great Carfax. Um, runs, drives, and looks great. Right now, I've been waiting as long as I can wait. This We're going to have rain here pretty soon. Um, for the windshield guys to show up, we have a crack in the windshield. My brother's already taken photos of it. See, there's a crack right here. So we're waiting on a windshield. The windshield should be, it will be installed brand new here shortly. But uh, uh, that's all that needs to be done on the vehicle. Um, notes in our inspection. Um, it appears to us, well it's not appears, it has. The passenger fender has been replaced at some point and painted perfectly. Um, if I could find that painter and sign him up to fix bumpers and things, I would love it. Um, the only reason we know, it, you can't tell, the only reason we know is when we open the hood and we look at the inside of the, the uh, fender, which I'll show you when we go into the hood, it's an aftermarket fender. Ford fender, aftermarket fender. Now, there is no accidents and no damage reported on Carfax. Based on the OCD nature of the people who have owned this vehicle, I would say that they scratched the crap out of that fender and replaced it and then hired the best painter in the world or maybe hired the Ford robot to come spray it because it's perfect. Um, let's see, what else in our notes? Panoramic, uh, the cloth is the panoramic uh, cover, slides really fast. The moonroof itself, the glass, slides slow. Very Ford, of uh, <laughs> very common of Ford for that. Um, and the backup camera, when you put it in reverse, it's upside down, and we don't know why. Um, uh, every now and then, the, the uh, camera will show uh, camera error instead of a, a backup camera. Um, we went through the settings. We're not really sure what's going on there. We did Google it, and that is a common issue with uh, the Ford backup cameras. Um, we're not going to be concerned with it. We're trying to keep the price down. Send it to Ford for $500 for them to flash the car or whatever. We're not doing it. Um, if you want to do it, you can do it. Um, or you can just drive it like we used to drive it with our eyes. And uh, everything would be fine. <laughs> uh, but uh, if you need a backup camera to drive a car, you probably got issues that I can't help with. Um, but you can still use the camera. It's just upside down. It's weird. Anyway, here's the uh, Carfax. Carfax blends the Kelly Blue Book and the Carfax together. Comes up with a retail value of this car of $12,030. No accidents, regular oil, oil changes, always a personal vehicle. And prior certified pre-owned. It was actually certified twice in its lifetime, which I've never seen. Um, Ford certify a car twice at different times. There's your VIN. No accidents reported. Um, regular oil change, Fox guy there. Guaranteed, no title problems, okay. Looks like it was born in La Mesa, California, Chula Vista, getting service regularly. Okay, so then we come up to our first certified date, 7 12 of 15, blue advantage certified, board certified it there. And then, looks like a year and a half, almost two years later, on New Year's Eve of 2016, they do it again. And it stays in Bell Ford. They're still servicing it. It goes out of warranty and they're still taking good care of it. And they take it in on trade, 1229 of 2020 to Kia, uh, Earnhardt Kia in Phoenix, okay? And uh, apparently they tried to sell it, but because they want a zillion dollars for every car, they couldn't. And they have trouble um, getting lending for their vehicles. Um, when they have over 100,000 miles, their lenders won't generally finance vehicles. So that's the other reason. Um, I do see there's a door ding right here. I 
thought I saw in a little tiny one right here. This one's a little deeper. This one's a little less. Dent Buster for a hundred bucks would clear that up if you cared, but you really have to work to find them, so I wouldn't even bother. All right, let me fire this guy up. Just to show you what I'm talking about. There's reverse. At first you're like, <laughs> see how it's upside down? That's the ground and that's the door behind us. That's strange, isn't it? Anyway, all right, let me uh, go under the hood. I mean, I guess you could still see if you're gonna hit something. You just gotta, I guess not be drunk. All right, let's see, got a hood prop. I'm gonna do this one handed. Anyway, so this is how you can tell. Boom, boom, boom. Pretty in here. Looks great. There's your original sticker, so you know it didn't get into the hood. They just dinged into something there. Ah, and I locked the door. La, 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 la. Oh, make sure the windows are unlocked. There you go. All right. All right, there's your window. Door locks. Seats are in really good shape. The interior of this car looks brand new. It's really nice condition. Forward, back, up. And down. You got a full manual in there. Oh, this car is freaking sharp. Pretty car. Really pretty car. There's your window there. And you got a cup holder there. AC vents there. Sure, there's nothing going on underneath. So these, this, this is just a cover that slides. That whole cover slides. I'll show you that in a second. You know, do, 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 do. window. I'm starting to really like these Ford edges. Let me show you something else here. So if you want to fold those seats up, you just go bang, bang, like that. So if you got your groceries, you can just knock it out real quickly. And that obviously closes automatically. Window, 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 window. There you go. Mirrors, out, in, up and down other side out in up and down seat forward back up and down rear tilt forward and back here's your you can do it from this you can do it from your remote you can do it from the back door itself and you can do it from the dash okay I'll hit it again there's that. Let's see, and we should have a tilt wheel, right? There's that. Let me hop in here. Get my seat right. And get <coughs> Excuse me. Get a seatbelt on. Look at how dark it's getting over there. It's gonna pour. All right, let's see. So there's the panoramic roof. See the back one going? That's the uh, cover. And that moves real quick, right? Just like that, boom. And then, you go like this, there you go. And I mean, I, that's not slow, but it's getting slow. But the good news is the motors are cheap. If it ever does go out, they're not that bad. See, oh, that's what this is, that's the tilt. And then this opens it, you hit this one to open it. So you do that, and then let's see, hit it again, 
and that'll close the covers. I'm saying slow. My guy said slow, but it's really not that slow. I've seen a lot slower than that. Let's see. Uh, heated seats. Right. Climate control. Fan. Temperature up and down. It's all that self-explanatory, right? Go out of here. Boom. Radio. Let's see. Go home. Let's go to, let's see. Gosh darn it, how do you do this? I'm terrible at these stupid things, by the way. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, I suck at this. How do you do? There you go. FM. There you go. No, we, people earned over a million dollars last year. You just got to take a picture of your gas receipt and bam, up to 25 cents a gallon cash back. You Steer, don't have to tell me steering first. controls. Let's see. What else we got going on here? We got all kinds of stuff going on here. We got all these controls over here. Blah, blah, blah. All kinds of stuff. Anyway. Let's see what else. Lights. Boom. There's your windshield wipers, right? Let's see. Let me turn the radio down. I think that's about it. it does have Microsoft Sync, so you've got a couple USB, one, two USBs, audio, video. You got an SD card that goes in there too. Power plug, there's all kinds of stuff going on here. All right, let's go for a ride. This is a sweet car. Um, if you come to Tucson and drive this thing home, you're gonna pay the following. You're gonna pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price and that's it. No tax, no dock fee, nothing. Once we receive full payment, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will uh, uh, sign it off to you, scan it in your online file, and we'll uh, mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope, we mail it in. Um, if you are gonna pay by wire and ship out of state, um, you're gonna be shipping your vehicle, this Edge, to you. Um, if you need help with shipping, let us know at the beginning of the transaction. I can uh, I can help do it. I can do it for you, um, uh, just by uh, you pay us and we'll have it done for you. You can roll the price of the shipping into the price of the vehicle. Um, I can do it for you. Uh, if you need to do it, if you want to do it yourself, we can give you some phone numbers to call and you can do it yourself, or you're welcome to just do it yourself. Okay, but obviously you want your car fast, um, and we we're here to help you if you need help. Okay. Deposits $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until we have a deposit, it will stay for sale. Please make sure you get your deposit in, okay? Um, we're not trying to make as much money as we possibly can on any car that we have in our inventory, all right? Uh, we're in the business of selling cars, not collecting them, okay? Uh, so that brings us to this part. We don't have salesmen. We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have uh, a lounge where an attendant serving scones and sandwiches and... Uh, you know, there's a game room for the kids. They've got that all. We're on Wetmore Road. A half a mile east of right where we are right now is the Auto Mall. And you can get all that stuff there. You can pay for a salesman and pay for the lattes because all that stuff's rolled into the price of a vehicle when you buy there. Um, they also have a beautiful location with pavement that's smooth. This is the best road in our neighborhood. The road we just pulled out in front of our business is horrific. It's like Bolivian third world pavement, all right? It's a great test for noise in a car. If it doesn't make noise on that road, it's not gonna make noise. Um, but to be over there, they have to collect a lot of money per car to pay for that habit of having all that nice stuff. Uh, we don't because uh, we don't have a whole lot of nice uh, property over here. My uncle uh, actually rents our property to us for a dollar a year, so you're not paying for our uh, rent. You're not paying for lattes and attendance and game rooms and a bottled water with our name on it and salesmen. You're also not paying for future repairs. At the auto mall, if you bought this vehicle from them and something broke, you'd be pissed and bring it in and say, fix my car. I paid a fortune. 
Um, and they would say, sure, because they also charge you $500 more built into the price of the vehicle for future repairs. Most people don't know that, <laughs> but they do, okay? Because um, they know that something's gonna break and they don't wanna pay for it, so they pay, make you pay when you buy the car, all right? We don't because we're not fixing your car. We give you the car facts, uh, we give you the information that we have on the vehicle so you can make a good decision and be well informed. Um, and then we tell you that uh, on day one, you're the owner. If you if something breaks, you're gonna fix it with your money. Now, you just saw the Carfax, okay? Um, you've watched the video, you've seen it drive. Um, like I said, that windshield's gonna be replaced. It better be replaced very soon or we'll have a new windshield shop. Uh, but uh, it, uh, it's a nice car and obviously well-maintained. But every single car that we have, every single car that you drive by on the road is going to break. Nothing goes unbroken forever. So we tell people all the time, if, uh, if you think that you're gonna be pissed, if you buy this vehicle and the day you get it, a window motor decides not to work or whatever decides not to work, which is what they do, um, you know, cars break, uh, and you're not gonna be able to call us and say, I wanna check for, you know, a window motor or a door lock or an injector or whatever, and that's gonna make you mad, then we are definitely not the place for you because you're not gonna get a check. Now, what you're gonna get is no bullshit. Sorry, eh, it's too late to fix the video. Anyway, you're not gonna get any crap, lies. You're gonna get the real deal. And this is the real deal. This is a beautiful car, a really nice car. I get in this thing and drive it to Boston right now and nothing would happen, okay? But uh, we just like to know uh, people to know uh, where things stand. 105,499 miles on it. If you look up here, next uh, oil change, 313 of 21 or 110,000 miles. So they just changed the oil again. This car is nice. Um, I'd be very confident owning this car. I think that's about it. Thank you for your time.